this is a this is from an article that Caitlin Johnstone wrote, and I highly recommend people check out Caitlin Johnstone. Um, she's fantastic. She's awesome. Uh, I like what she writes. But she basically pointed out how uh, government secrecy is is government secrecy and and the intelligence agencies are really what breed conspiracy theories, right? And you can see that. And I, and I'll and I'll show you this. I hope you guys can hear hear this. This is one of the new features on Streamyard. Um, this is this is from pushback. Uh, but I was a cadet. I'm going to pause this for a second and introduce it. But it's Mike Pompeo talking about being the director of the CIA. Um, so I hope you guys can hear. If you guys can't hear, leave that uh, leave that in the comments, and I'll figure out what to do to fix it because this is a new new thing here. But um, this is basically uh, something that they played on pushback uh, earlier this year, and it's Mike Pompeo talking about the CIA. And this is this the CIA is an organization we're supposed to trust as as an organization for our safety, right? That protects our national security. And check this out. When I was a cadet, what's the first? What's the cadet motto at West Point? You will not lie, cheat, or steal, or tolerate those who do. Hmm. I, I I was the CIA director. We lied. We cheated. We steal and stole. It's like we we had we had entire we had entire training courses. Uh, it, uh, it 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 reminds you of the uh, uh, the glory of the American experiment. <laughs> yes, it reminds you of the glory of the American experiment to lie, cheat, and steal. And that's the American experiment. How long, according to Mike Pompeo, who was former director of the CIA uh, before he became Trump's secretary of state, was that lie, cheat, and steal is part of the glory of the American experiment. That means the American experiment is based on lying, cheating, and stealing, which they did, right? Which they did. So does that, according to Mike Pompeo, is he coming out and basically saying that the entire Declaration of Independence and the Constitution are all based on lies, cheats, and steals? I mean, democracy seems to be built that way under the American empire. So this is the organization, right? They, they, they lie, cheat, and steal, and then they expect people to trust them without any kind of question. And when we ask for more transparency, this is something that Caitlin Johnstone brings up as well, is when she asks for more transparency, well, they go, it's national security. Do you want troops to be to be harmed? Do you want America to be harmed by giving up uh, national security information? And that is the juxtaposition, right? That is the the hard thing is like, how do you val how do you um, kind of get in between uh, protecting troops and national security, but still have a transparent government system that isn't lying, isn't cheating their people, isn't trying to uh, s steal from the American people to justify all of their wars, to justify all of their coups. And I can tell you that the CIA and, and the FBI, they, they, do, they don't do that. They don't protect the interests of national security and they don't protect the interest of American troops and they don't protect the interest of the American people. They protect the interests of the American empire by putting people in place and getting rid of people domestically that are more for the people and not for the empire. And when we talk about wars, they lie, cheat, and steal us into wars too. Don't they? The Gulf of Tonkin, that was a lie to get us into Vietnam. In the early 90s, um, Fucking uh, Daddy Bush lied about st st this Saddam killing babies in hospitals. We found out that the woman that um, that that gave that testimony lied in front of Congress because she was an actor hired by the president, and again didn't get didn't get impeached for lying to Congress for for hiring somebody to lie to Congress. Uh, he got to keep his fucking position of power. WMDs, another fucking lie. Somebody brought that up. Uh, I can't remember who brought that up. Um, that that Pelosi basically came out and said, "Yeah, we knew we knew that they that they there were no weapons of mass destruction." But fuck off. Who cares? We did it anyway. And then again, they tried to get us into a war with Iran in 2019, which Pompeo was involved in. By doing, by basically repeating Gulf of Tonkin. 
This is how they get us into wars. And then they lie, cheat, and steal to keep us in those wars. Oh, we have to get rid of this big bad dictator. No, no, it's not. It's not about getting rid of people like Gaddafi. It's not getting rid of people like Assad. It's about taking resources from that country that you believe belong to us. If it was about getting rid of bad people, if it was about standing up to evil, then you wouldn't be siding with Saudi Arabia, which commits human rights violations, at, I don't know, once every seven minutes. Plain and simple, but you do. America sells weapons to Saudis, and they use it to commit genocide in other countries. They use it to perpetrate wars in other countries. So America is essentially funding their wars. Not just that, but these weapon companies sell weapons to both sides because they're trying to make a profit. That's what they give a shit about. How can we profit off of this thing? If an economy is based off war, we can steal other countries' resources and make it ours. We'll manifest destiny the globe. And that's essentially what they're trying to do. And and if it, and look, if they believe that none of this shit was evil, why would they keep that shit under wraps? There's no reason for them to. So this notion of national security starts to go out the window when you realize their motives for doing this is not national security, is not protecting the troops. And if they were for transparency, they wouldn't be uh, demonizing people like Julian Assange and Edward Snowden for revealing the shit that they've done. They would have been like, yeah, guys, this is what we have to do. This is the right thing. You want democracy? You want your fucking iPhones? You want your fucking freedom? This is what we do. Instead, they go, nah, this guy, non a fucking non-state hostile intelligence agency. That's what this guy is. You wouldn't do that to Julian Assange. You wouldn't keep him in a in a fucking prison cell in England. You wouldn't be trying to extradite him to the United States so you can put him in a supermax facility. You wouldn't be doing any ass shit. You'd be like, yeah, you okay, you 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 got us. You wouldn't be trying to hide shit. Isn't that the argument that they use to 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 be okay with a society that runs like a panopticon? They're like, oh, well, if you didn't do anything wrong, then you don't have anything to hide. Same goes for them. If you don't feel like you're doing something wrong, then you don't have anything to hide. Why are there so many redact uh, with the classified documents, especially leading uh, dealing with uh, things like the Black Panthers, things like who assassinated JFK, things like who killed Martin Luther King Jr.? Why are those, why are those classified? Oh, is it because the FBI was run by a racist lunatic that thought that he, a black messiah was going to come in and, and, and cause a race war or some shit? Oh, is that why? Oh, and those are the people we're supposed to trust without question? Maybe we should start questioning them. Corporate journalists end up becoming propagandists for a system like this when you don't have transparency. When, when transparency is demonized, corporate journalists become propagandists because they're not allowed to ask the questions that people like Assange do, that people like Snowden did, Glenn Greenwald, the Gray Zone, these independent journalists that I think everybody should be supporting over any of these other corporate idiots. Ba -ba -ba -ba. Let's look at some comments. Aram. Uh, this is a quote. Oh, this is a, a good quote. Good quote, Aram. Uh, William J. Casey, direct, CIA director from 1981 to 87. Uh, we'll know our disinformation program is complete when everything it, everything the U.S. public believes is false. That's a good quote. The, again, this is this is how the CIA operates. That that th this is how they kind of you know r run their organization. Uh, three phases of receiving gaslighting, disbelief, defense, depression, uh, then acquiescence, I guess. <laughs> yeah, they got to get. Yeah, they got to they got to make you question yourself def and then you got to get all defensive about it. And then you're just like, fuck, maybe maybe I have a problem. like I've, I've been a victim of gaslighting, uh, you know, and and it doesn't feel great. And I feel like that's kind of what these intelligence agencies do is that they try to gaslight the American people. And then when you realize that you've been gaslit, you're like, fuck, okay, this sucks. 
Uh, da, 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 da. I'm trying to use more spousal abuse terminology and tone when talking about the CIA and their enablers. You would be correct to do so, Dustin. You would be very correct to do so. Caitlin Johnstone does good work. Indeed, she does. Um, and uh, do we have any interviews work with CJ? Caitlin Johnstone? Uh, I don't have any interviews with her. I have not tried to reach out to her yet. Um, I always feel like certain people are a little bit above my pay grade, and I feel like Caitlin Johnstone might be one of those people. Uh, but I do, I would love to talk to her. Her her writing is pretty great. Um, I would subscribe to her Substack and email list. So, uh, yeah. Uh, Holly calls them prostitutes. I love that term. I love that term. I might have to uh, snag that term for me, Holly. The prostitutes. Terry, thanks for thanks for viewing. This is a big comment. Uh, so if you're watching on the video, it has taken over most of my face. Uh, the pandemic has us in a pickle. I just want to ride my motorcycle and uh, I don't want to die. I just want to ride posted on February 12th, 2021 by Terry. Social injustice increased uh, numbers of people have been taken out and the virus came to town. So we must set up security. Our citizens are being intercepted in parking lots all over the nation. Uh, know that when you leave your house, you could become a statistic, 300,000 worldwide, become victims and far more. Yeah, I mean, that was one of the stories that we, we you know, a lot of people weren't talking about in the corporate media is what was going on in Portland uh, when federal agents were just kidnapping people and they were using the same tactics that they've been using, which is which is just profiling. Um, so, you know, we, we do need to keep an eye out for it. Before we get to the quick Q&A session, um, which I'll, I'll probably only take about two or three at the end of this, uh, this segment here. Uh, Goebbels to repeat a lie often enough and people believe it. Yeah, that's basically what they're trying to do. Thank you so much for checking out this video. If you enjoyed this content, uh, please make sure that you hit the like button, hit the share button, and make sure you're subscribed to my channel, whether it's on Rockfin, YouTube, or Facebook, especially Facebook and YouTube. They often uncensor people, uh, un unsubscribe people, and they censor this content. So if you want to keep up to date, make sure you're subscribed. Hit that bell button so you get notifications of when I'm putting up new videos and when I am going live. I usually go live uh, on uh, Fridays and on Mondays. Uh, and if you want more information about a, a bunch of the other stuff that I do, uh, whether it's my Forkful of Noodles podcast, the Taboo Table Talk interview podcast, or the Road Reflections live streams, uh, make sure you go to my website, krishmohanhaha.com. It's K-R-I-S-H-M-O-H-A-N-H-A-H-A.com. There you'll find past episodes of, uh, of various shows that I, uh, that I do, as well as information about when I'll be performing live virtual comedy shows the forkful of noodles live virtual comedy shows uh the dates and tickets will be available directly on my website but if you're also on financial stable ground you can help contribute to the show financially by making a one-time donation or becoming a sustaining member which gets you free tickets and bonus content and go to krishmohanhaha.com slash donate to to make any kind of financial contributions but if you can't it's not a necessity most of my stuff is available for free and for everybody to enjoy. So again, go to krishmohanhaha.com. It's K-R-I-S-H-M-O-H-A-N-H-A-H-A. -H 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 -A, and I hope to see you at the next video.